This is the Palmetto State Armory AKV. So this guy is essentially a nine millimeter American made AK. So this particular model is the Nutmeg furniture with cheese grater uh, heat shield on top. So on the back right here, you do have a folding brace. You just take this thing, swing it out. This brace mounts by a Picatinny rail mounted right to the butt on the back right here. So you can take this brace and you can raise it up or lower it depending on whatever optic, if you decide to do an optic. What's cool on the front is you do have an indexed muzzle brake and you can see that little pin right here. If you push that pin down, you can unscrew it. This actually exposes half by 28 threading. Again, this is a nine millimeter. So put a nine millimeter muzzle device on here, whatever's threaded half by 28. I have the rugged obsidian 45 suppressor. I can screw that thing right on here, which I have for shooting and you'll see that in the footage too. So now we have the rugged obsidian 45 suppressor on here. This is a 45 caliber suppressor. One thing I do want to note on this gun, the magwell is very tight. So when you put your magazine in, you got to kind of give it a couple of slaps too, because sometimes it might not sit all the way in there. I'm not sure if that's something that might just kind of loosen up a little bit over time. A good news is you have no wobble from your magazine. The bad news is it kind of makes your reloads a little slow. And you got to put a little more power into it, but uh, it hasn't been a big issue yet. Very fun. What's cool about this model right here is this is the cheese grater model. So it just has this cheese grater style heat shield on top, which is just really cool looking. Um, and it actually does a pretty good job at dissipating heat as well. AKs get hot. If you haven't fired an AK before, they get hot quick. Granted, this is a nine millimeter AK, um, but it, a lot of AKs also have a piece of wood up top here and those get they cook, they get really hot, or just a piece of metal on the heat shield. So what's different about this versus a standard AK that fires a nine millimeter round is first of all, this is a pretty cool arm brace right here. This is a triangular folding arm brace. To fold it, you just have to lift up on the brace and then it folds. You can fire it with it folded. Um, it just kind of gets in the way a little bit, but not too bad. Otherwise to open it back up, you just rip it, just give it a pop and then it opens right up. I did fire it with Scorpion mags. It seemed to take the Scorpion mags just fine. And then of course I fired it with the PSA mags. All right, so I have about half of a Scorpion mag. So this is actually a Scorpion branded CZ magazine. It's about, it's over three years old. I bought it with my Scorpion. This doesn't have steel reinforced lips or anything like that. This is just plain old plastic Scorpion mag. Let's see if it works with the AKV. Let's try it. Yes, it does. What's even cool too is the bolt hold open actually locks back with this. And that's a big thing because a lot of the nine millimeter AKs, they don't have bolt hold open. So just like the ARV, you have this little switch right down here. You hit that and then it sends the bolt home. Now, if you'll notice one thing right now, it takes a little bit of effort to put those magazines inside the gun. The Scorpion mags, PSA mags, and even the Magpul mags all are pretty stiff. So I don't know if that's something that's gonna really ease up over time or this magwell is just a tight magwell. Faster reloads are a little difficult to perform just because of the pressure and effort it takes to kind of put those mags and then drop the mags out. These magazines do not freely drop. So you have to hit the lever and give them a good yank and they'll pull out. The good news is there is zero wobble with the magazine and the gun at all. It's a completely perfect fit, which is cool. Now, one of the coolest features about this being a nine millimeter AK, it actually has the last round bolt hold open option. So what that means is on your last round, most AKs, they just go home to battery. Then you get a click. That's it. This guy last round, it accommodates the mechanism of the CZ Scorpion style magazine to hold open that bolt. So sure enough, it does. And then to send that bolt home, you have a little switch, just like the ARV, you hit that and it drops it and then it sends the bolt home. So this is actually coated steel case ammo. So let's see how it works.
So another cool thing about this right here is your pick rail is actually molded to the top of this cover right here. And if you look at the build thickness of this, it's actually a really thick piece. You can mount your optics right to the top of this and that's good to go. So I did check all the rivets on this to make sure they're pressed in properly and they are. I don't see any gap between the rivets and the side of the receivers. You have an indexed muzzle device up here so you can just hold down this pin, which is not hard to press down, and you can unscrew it or screw it on, and you can mount your suppressor. So I have fired this with my Rugged Obsidian 45 suppressor, and it feels really good. It's a, it's a great combination, an awesome platform to suppress. Let's go ahead and check that trigger pull while we're at it. I'm gonna try to get right in the middle here. This trigger does feel better than the ARV trigger. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, three pounds. 3.3 pounds, 8.5 ounces, 3 pounds, 10 ounces. So let's do one more. We're a little scattered on our results here. A lot of that's user error, the little over pulling of this. 2 pounds, 15 ounces. Last one for sure, for real. Three pounds, seven ounces. Comfy trigger pull, very smooth trigger. The cool thing about this is the reset on this trigger is so positive. So I'm gonna talk about two drawbacks with the AKV before we wrap this up. Now, first drawback is gonna be the really tight magwell. Some people might like that because it really reduces the wobble. It, it gets to the point where there is no wobble at all because it's such a tight magwell. The problem is fast magazine changes. Um, that means you have to actually pull on this lever and yank them out and then put them in, give them a slap sometimes um, if this bolt isn't held open. It's not something that would keep me from buying the AKV because this thing has proven to be such a fun shooter. And that trigger is absolutely amazing on this. A really fun trigger. I like it a lot. Um, and the looks are just so dang cool. I fired a few hundred rounds through this thing and it has proven so far to be very reliable. I don't see any signs of premature wear and tear on any of the internal parts either. Now, the other issue that I'm having with this is the stock wobble. Now, it's not supposed to have a wobble. So inside the AKV, there's a set screw right there. Those come loose, and when those come loose, the actual mount right here starts to wobble a little bit. You can take an Allen wrench, and then you crank down on those, and then this thing tightens right up. To be honest, I think this just needs a little bit of Loctite to lock this thing down so they don't keep wiggling loose when you fire, especially when you do like a bump fire or something fun like that. Other than that, the AKV has been an incredibly fun firearm to use, and I do think there are some upgrades I'm looking to doing. The suppressor works perfectly on this platform. You have that blowback piston system on this guy. You really don't get any gases in your face when you're shooting the suppressed, which is really nice. Uh, recoil's not bad. It does feel a little bit more stout than the ARV, but still, again, you're firing a nine millimeter out of a relatively heavy gun, so that's, that's not a huge issue to me either. I'm going to do another follow-up on it as well um, in due time. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you.